I am going to show you guys how you get your cryptocurrency out of Coinbase into a wallet, whether that be a software wallet or a hardware wallet. Because if you don't have the keys to your cryptocurrency, it is not yours. Hi, this is Mosh. I try and make investing and finance nice and easy to understand. Now, you've probably heard about the FTX collapse where they lost over a billion dollars worth of clients' money in cryptocurrency. The key reason is, if you don't have the keys, and I'll talk about what keys are, you do not own your cryptocurrency. It is not yours. The exchange can do what they want with your cryptocurrency. And I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do step by step to get your cryptocurrency back into your own hands. When it comes to any type of asset, it's important that you actually own it and it's yours to do what you want with it. For example, the recent Silicon Valley bank crash where depositors were only guaranteed up to $250,000. So anything above that, let's say someone had half a million, a million dollars in there, that would not be protected by the government. They could potentially lose all that money. And the reason why I think Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, this is their moment, because there is a lot of other banks going potentially under. Credit Suisse was a recent one where they're getting the Swiss National Bank to help them out. And if we see a further collapse of banks, I think this is the time for cryptocurrencies to come and shine. And this is why Bitcoin is potentially going through the roof. Do is if we go into the Coinbase app, and I've got a couple a bit of Bitcoin in there, you can see that you can buy, sell, send, and receive to other people. But what I can't do is get the keys for it to transfer it out to a software wallet or a hardware wallet. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. You need to go to the Apple Store or the Google Store. You need to put in Coinbase Wallet. I've already downloaded it and fill in the information and connect it to your Coinbase account. When you get your Coinbase Wallet they will give you a phrase that you need to remember. It will be. Uh, it will consist of around 16 words. You need to write that down on a piece of paper because if you forget that, you will not be able to access your cryptocurrencies. All right, so it says add crypto to get started. So add crypto and it says connect my Coinbase account. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and you just have to give it authorization. So that's that done. Now it says select asset to add. So I want to add my Bitcoin that I have. I've got 0 0.0099 in this account. So I've got $244 worth of Bitcoin. So let me click on that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to send $240 because the price might fluctuate. So it causes a bit of issue. So I go preview send. All right, so I'm transferring 0 0.00985 of Bitcoin into my Coinbase wallet. So I'm going to confirm and there's a network fee of just over a dollar, which is a little bit expensive. This is why I recommend doing large amounts instead of small amounts regularly. So I'll put the code in and you send 230 worth of dollars. But remember, dollars is irrelevant. It's the amount of Bitcoin to my software wallet. OK, I'm going to press done. The key thing when it comes to the wallet, if you go into your settings and it says uh, show recovery phrase, you need to make sure that you remember it and back it up, write it down somewhere so you never forget this. Because it says your recu secret recovery phase is used to recover your crypto if you lose your phone or switch to a different wallet. Because crypto is always on the blockchain. It cannot get lost or disappear into nothingness. It will always be there as long as you've got your recovery phase ready to hand. Now, if you don't trust having your crypto in a software wallet, what you can do is put it onto a hardware wallet, for example, like a Nano Ledger. That will keep it safe. If you're using a software wallet or a hardware wallet, the key thing is to keep your private keys safe. I would recommend, what I personally do, I physically write down on a piece of paper and keep that hidden away in a place where I, know, I only know where and I make another copy in a completely different place and a different house, to be honest. Um, so I've got a second copy of it. I would not recommend keeping it in your phone in the notes or something like that because if someone has access to your phone and they get your private keys, you it is not your crypto. They can easily withdraw that and take that out. And remember, if you want a free share worth up to a hundred pounds with free trade or trading two one two, you can use my link in the box below. Open up account, deposit one pound, and they'll give you a free share. So it's definitely worth doing. I hope this helped. If you've got any comments, leave it below and I'll get back to every single comment.